In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own mappings to control plugins and other parameters inside Ableton Live using your Novation Impulse without needing AutoMap. The encoders and faders can either be in mixer or plugin mode, or they can be in MIDI mode where they're freely assignable. To put the encoders into MIDI mode, press this MIDI button. To put the Impulse 25 fader into MIDI mode, press this button so that it's unlit. To put the Impulse 49 and 61 faders into MIDI mode, press this MIDI button. Before we custom map anything, please return to Live's Preferences by going to Option Preferences on a PC or Live Preferences on a Mac. Go to the Link MIDI tab and make sure that Track and Remote are turned on for all of the Impulse's inputs and outputs. To map these encoders or faders to parameters inside Live, click on MIDI in the top right to turn on MIDI mapping. Click on the parameter that you want to control, like track volume. Move the control on the impulse that you want to control that parameter with, for example, the encoders. And then press MIDI again inside Live. Now, the encoders may switch back to plugin mode once you've done this, so make sure that you select MIDI again on the impulse. And you can now control these parameters using the controls that you moved on the impulse. In the Link MIDI tab, you can experiment with this drop-down menu to control the behavior of the pickup of the encoders. If you have any questions, you can contact our support team using the link in the description below.